producer of the Sunday radio show. She's like my own version of Baba Booey. Hey, can we... You know what? There's two things that you were supposed to tell me that you never told me. Uh-oh. What's happening? Are we, we're not live, are we? Well, yeah, we are. We actually. are? Okay. <laughs> but I live my life on the air. Right. So okay. Uh, well, then, no. We will talk off. <laughs> off of the yeah, air. We will talk off. Because I want to know about um, a radio buddy of ours. That you never told me the story of. And I also want to talk about, about the what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that story all day long. Hey, would be great somebody's at the door. Somebody's at the door. Andrew Duncan? Uh-oh. No. no? <laughs> Hi. I know I it's so hot outside. Here they come. Hi, I'm Reno. How are you? Program, open door Hi, policy. nice They're to meet you too. In. Forget about what you've heard. Forget about ferrets and jello fights. Right back. Oh, it yeah. In. yeah, he did. So uh, there's Reno on the camera. We're going to go back Hi. to me. So she's uh, greeting people. Yes. Meeting and greeting. Yes. Uh, oh, Britannia you guys are live. is doing something. Are you setting up a live. Yep. Is that what you're doing? Uh, we are live on uh, the official Jiggy Jaguar app, by the way, in the App Store, JiggyJaguar.us, if you want to find it. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, uh, this weekend, Thursday? Thursday. 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 I will be in the great city of Wichita, Kansas for the Thunder Nationals, whatever the hell that is, uh, interviewing hot rod people. So I'm going to go out there and act like I know a whole bunch about motorsports. Uh, basically what it will be is, here's how this works. Five minutes before I pull up, I Google their name. <laughs> and then I just read their Wikipedia. That's how I do things. So whenever you see my interviews and you're like, he knows a hell of a lot about the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. No, actually I just read their Wikipedia minutes before we uh, did the interview. Because what I do is I take people with me and why they set up lights and cameras and, and Periscope and Facebook and all that crap. I'm sitting there Googling the names on my tablet. <laughs> so there's a little <laughs> inside baseball there for you kids. And uh, Reno with us today. She's our uh, yes. monthly co-host. Yes. She's like Aunt Flo, only she doesn't bleed all over the place <laughs> when she shows up. That's so gross. <laughs> so gross. Just she's gross. And, uh, Glad to be here, that, I that guess. That is kind of a gross descriptive I'm thing. Glad to that's, be here. That's kind of. You compared me to a menstrual cycle. I don't know how I feel. I'm a pain. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, I'm trying to think. <laughs> That's what happens here. And then we got, I feel uh, the love, I think. Uh, we've got <laughs> I got a, thank you. He gave me a stick. I mean, I said he. Britannia gave well, me a you know, stick. She does say she has a penis. <laughs> I've never seen it, but she said she does have one. Uh, so you do have you do have a dick. You do have a dick now <laughs> for the rest of your life. See? <laughs> and uh, it is it is a heck of a day. Uh, yesterday we were up at the. Uh, Smoky Hill River Festival in Salada, Kansas. The Corruption Junction, as I like to call it, where uh, they call in the military to take down fake pot dealers. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that is on record, as Alex Jones would say. That's on record. Um, we were supposed to talk to Gerard Haran about the passing of Kimbo Slice, but uh, mm. he, was, uh, he was nowhere to be found, and his voicemail was full. Um, I woke up today to the social media of this Orlando nightclub shooting yes. of a Muslim guy who went in and killed a bunch of gay people because he was offended by guys kissing. 50. Don't go near the nightclub if you're offended by guys kissing. 50. 50. Well, I, think, I believe it was up to 50. He's, he's 50 dead. That's oh, a lot. Okay. I thought maybe he would just shot 50. No, it was I, it was fifty plus casualties, but fifty were confirmed dead. Last I checked. I just well, everybody immediately got on social media and was like, "This is an ISIS thing." Well, then I read an article that he apparently took a couple people hostage before he shot a few people. Oh wow! ISIS and them don't take hostages. Those well, guys, those guys aren't really smart enough to take hostages. According, they're, they're in caves all the time. <laughs> However, they have internet. And for about 10 years, Osama bin Laden was getting uh, diabetic treatments, but right. they're living in caves. Right. Right. Well, and he also, he also was an amateur filmmaker, which I always think is, is, is interesting about the guy. He owned a camera. They had internet access because these videos got posted online. 
I just, I don't know. I've, I've, I, I just, I, I don't know what to say sometimes about these guys. And then, of course, uh, the United States government will come out and say, oh, it wasn't a terrorist attack. Because they don't like saying things like that. Right. And the only reason, the only thing I can think of, and, and, and of course, everybody immediately is going to blame Obama. Because that's <laughs> always what they do. Right. I don't know why. Right. <laughs> it's like, let's blame Obama. Blame Obama for what? Right. <laughs> he didn't give that guy a gun and say, go in that nightclub and shoot those people. Right. <laughs> well, for I what don't I, ever blame Bernie. Oh, wait, actually, he's not the president yet. Uh, oh, yeah. But he's going to. Him, him and Hillary are going to join forces to take down Trump. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to be. Trump, in my opinion, is like a supervillain from a, from a comic book. You're going to need a little bit more than Hillary and Trump. Or Hillary and Bernie take down Trump. Uh, it's but, and that's sad when you back. think. Of, you think? Yeah, <laughs> well, old, old Trump. I'll tell you. I you, you know what? I just keep telling people, and I and I and, and all my all my Republican friends and all my Democrat friends always just they, they just don't know what to say when I say this. But it needs to be Trump on one side and Bernie on the other. But immediately yeah. when I say that, all my Republican friends go, "Why are you like that socialist?" Okay. Why do I sound like my old grandmother when I said that? And uh, then <laughs> it's a cross between her and the guy from Dune that flies around. But um, then there's uh, then <laughs> a lot of my references don't make a lot of sense here. And then um, Donald Trump, because uh, it makes all my Democrat friends get all like, oh, you like Trump? No, I like them both. Because I like Bernie, because of the whole, well, you need to have an educated workforce. Yeah. I like that. Because, yeah. yeah, if you don't have an educated workforce, how are you going to go out and build goods and services? Yeah. And I also like the free college thing that he does. But what's also funny about that is that, uh, and in fact, I heard this when I went to the, I went, the day they had the Kansas caucus, uh, I overheard a couple college guys sitting at a coffee shop, of course. And one of them was like, I can't wait for Bernie to get elected because I'm going to get my free college. And I'm just going to fuck off when I'm in college. <laughs> and it's like, I got news for you there, pal. There's going to be tests. Yeah. There's going to be all sorts of things. Otherwise, you're going to get tossed out of the free college. Oh, yeah. They're not just going to give you free college. Oh, yeah. This isn't National Lampoons. You're not just going to go. It's just not going to go to college for free. Right. So, and I think so a lot I of people like are thinking that. With Bernie. But then I also agree with Trump with the whole thing of, why do we have our military all over the planet and none of these countries are paying us money for it? Right. <laughs> that's, right. I'm always wondering what the hell that's all about. And then um, he also has a bunch of other things which just scare the crap out of everybody. He wants to know where all the gold's at. He wants to... Because they always talk about the gold. We have the gold in Fort Knox. But no one's ever allowed to see it. Huh. You know why? Because it's probably not there anymore. It's not. So <laughs> he wants to see the gold. He wants to he wants to audit the Federal Reserve because they, they, they why we audit you can get audited I can get audited right how we don't audit the Federal Reserve right but I, at the same time I also don't agree with Trump with the whole let's build the wall you're not gonna build the wall <laughs> it's not gonna happen you're not you, building a wall did you see it's a meme that's going around that's talking about <laughs> he wants to build the he wants to build the wall and then it's underneath it's like well we built tunnels so how would that help with your freaking wall oh, that too. <laughs> I, I don't see. understand the wall thing i don't i don't i, I don't understand, I don't understand it either the whole, thing. So, the whole thing about let's kick all the muslims out I don't know. It's like, they're probably going to be happening. Let's or kick possibly. these people out. Let's kick those let's people, kick these out. people out. Let's kick those people out. And everybody's talking about they'll leave the country if he's elected president. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Everybody said they were going to leave when Bush got elected. Everybody yeah. said when Clinton got elected. Well, then, um, I also, uh, like with Bernie, Bernie talks about how we need, to, uh, we need to crack down on Wall Street. Okay, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. It's never going to happen. Right. <laughs> right. It's never going to happen. Right. That's like when Bernie starts talking about uh, how we need to go uh, crack down on Wall Street and we need to go crack down on the oil companies and the pharmaceutical companies. I want to sit him down and say, old man, they run the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. one of the things that, pre that everybody bitches about, uh, you know, they always bitch about the, the Health Care Act. They call it Obamacare. And all this stuff. Right. And Obama, he wanted this weird-ass thing, Obamacare. Well, if people don't do their research 
and find out that Obama wanted all sorts of things in that health care deal. Right. But the pharmaceutical companies came along and said, nope. Right. So he took some, he took that out. And he took a bunch of stuff out because the insurance companies wanted that out of there. And then all of a sudden they're like, okay, now that we've picked this clean, there you go. Right. <laughs> and, so of course, then, they blame so Obama. And he signs it into law and everybody's like, ah, it sucks because Obama. And it's like, no. Right. It's a lot of things that he wanted to do, but because of... You know, what is it, Congress and yep. a lot of Republicans? No, 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 no. Because, <laughs> so it, because it was Obama. There you, there you go, Obama. There you go. Yeah, okay, you can do this if you do the, if you take this out. <laughs> then we might, you know. And it, it, so, but you can't really. It's, it's funny because the president never runs the show. See, this is the thing. But he's the man who will always get picked apart. <laughs> he's the one that always gets picked off. And it's like, he doesn't even run the show. It's kind of like when Bush was running the country. It was really big change. <laughs> oh the, the emperor was running the country when he wouldn't shoot people in the face yes wait i better not say that <laughs> yeah, yeah. hey let's go on a hunting trip no <laughs> no 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 i'm good now um we had earlier before the show started we had the midwest mangler show up which mm. was who that guy was with the hair okay that was lance chafin the midwest mangler Oh. He is uh, a professional wrestler. Okay. He was trained by Hulk Hogan. So I don't know if he's as racist as Hulk Hogan. God, I hope but, not. Uh, he didn't seem, he seemed very nice. <laughs> he seemed, he nice. seemed very nice. So if, if, well, he if didn't call you brother. So. <laughs> Dude. Right. You know? so, so if he is, he hit it well. <laughs> so. He hit it well. <laughs> hey, I heard you had some uh, racist neighbors last week, speaking oh, of which. we have racist neighbors. Do you? Wow. There is a guy. I like to call him Captain Redneck. Oh. He, uh, he lives two apartments. By the way, we're going to get to our studio guest here in a few moments. If you're uh, watching us on Ustream and you've seen them sitting there, we're going to get to them. <laughs> Very nice looking men. Uh, they, uh, I just want to say that. They, 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 they dress, they, you know, what's funny about that is, they, is, is they're, is they're well-dressed. I have a I have a guest booker that books different people on the on the radio show, and he's always talking about you better wear something nice. It's radio. They did. Yes. So I look very nice the, and very nice. and very nice looking too. I just want to say that you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like your white boys, don't you? I love men. Oh, okay. yeah. speaking and another man I walks through the man. door. See, here like, comes some men gonna, through the door. You're gonna look surround me with men. They are just gonna <laughs> stream through the door. Here we go. Like every time you tell me to come, like, okay, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. Who you got coming? In? Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> well, um, the, we had a racist neighbor last week. We had a deal where we, we had a blast last week. I've I seen a, that. I had a Trump Damn. supporter in here at one point. She left because she didn't want to deal with any other nonsense. <sighs> we had a, we had we had all sorts of stuff. We were doing Facebook stuff, Periscope. It was uh, having a blast. And then we, uh, I went to the grocery store. And I come back, and I'm unloading groceries. Mm -hmm. And this Captain Redneck goes out there and looked at the uh, looked at my mom and me and everybody, and he's like, you know, he made some comment about he didn't like all them. He said over the here. N word. <laughs> oh. And he didn't say, and he didn't and he didn't do it like like the rappers do, like a nigga. Right, he, he the, the ER, ER oh. and he made sure that he he did his pronunciation to make sure the ER was the one thing that you heard. Oh. <laughs> and so he's talking about how he's all pissed off. Oh, 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 oh. But he didn't do it while they were here. No, oh, okay. he didn't do it while they're here. Oh, okay, mm. it's like the egg incident from about five years ago when I was at the Swiss Army apartment. Mm -hmm. I had these these. Black guys from Wichita, these rappers. Mm -hmm. They showed up, they did their thing. And then we go outside the apartment because they're getting ready to leave. Mm -hmm. And this egg zooms by me. And I'm like, what? And I looked up and there was this guy standing up there. And I'm like, what's wrong with an egg? <laughs> so then I go back in the house and me and Chris are getting things, you know, getting batteries put away and all this shit. And then here, here he comes and he comes to the threshold of the door, keep in mind. He doesn't step across the threshold because uh -huh. he knows that little law about home invasion, which I've always been praying for someone to home invade. You. Not while I'm here, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, we have the open door hey. policy on Sunday, so that, that Jesus, it's, <laughs> it's a different deal. But, um, but he was like, I was the one that threw the egg. Did you have all them over here? Wow. And I'm like, 
I don't know what to do. And then he goes, and you have those, come back. And then he throws an egg into my apartment on the floor. And I'm standing there going, who throws an egg? <laughs> well, then we had, across the way, we had some of those move in. Uh-huh. And they blasted music loud as shit for two or three days. And he, he moved. Oh, he, that... He couldn't take it, so he moved. Huh. So Captain Redneck over here, who knows, at some point. But he doesn't, he doesn't, he does not like them. <laughs> oh, damn. Hates. So, I think, I think he's jealous because the rappers and they got money. And they, well, you know, some, you know, pretend they have. <laughs> well, so, I mean, I don't know who you had last week, but man, I wish I would have came, though. I don't know. Maybe I should be glad I didn't. Now we got <laughs> people just busting in, shooting people and everything, and you got an open door policy. Do I need to be afraid? Because <laughs> the, the whole open door policy used to be anybody could show up at any time and talk about anything they wanted. And so this right. goes back to when we had a treehouse apartment in Salina where I lived across the street from the police station. Mm -hmm. And so they would let people go on Sundays. And so a lot of them were rappers. Mm -hmm. So the first place they would come would be my house. <laughs> and they always had a mixtape. They always had whatever <laughs> they needed to promote. Like my mixtape. And so they'd walk in and they'd be like, dog, I just got out of lockup, dog. I've got my mixtape. <laughs> and a lot of them, what I always thought was funny, was a lot of them would, would have it on their person when they would get arrested because they knew they were going to get out on Sunday. So they didn't want to run home. They just had it on them. And they would come over here. And they would come over and be like, don't get my mixtape. But I'm like, how do you have your mixtape? You just got out of prison or jail or whatever. And they're like, oh, well, you know, I got arrested on Thursday, and I knew I was going to get out on Sunday, so I wanted to be ready for the show, dog. So, <laughs> or, or, or my favorite used to be, uh, and Ross, our former co-host Ross Long, used to just laugh his head off when this would happen. Drunk black guys calling up and hawking their mixtape. They had the phone number, so they would just call it and be like, Hey, man! Oh. I'd be like, who's this? And they go, you know who it is, dog. I got my mixtape, it's fire! And the sad thing is, I know that... <laughs> I know that you're not lying, and so I can't... You know, because you, know, you, <laughs> you think, okay, you're being stereotypical. No, I've no. seen it for myself. No, you've seen so it. So I know you're you've telling me. You've been the around truth. it. I've been around it. <laughs> So I can't even, you know, I can't be like, okay, you're over-exaggerating. No, you're not. <laughs> you are so not. I, I got hit. I get hit up in my inbox. <laughs> and, and so I, I know you how been, it goes. I, I've, I've, like, heard okay. from, I've heard different stories of you being out places and just like with your kids. And they're like, they know you. Yeah. From the radio show. Yeah. Like, hey. Yeah. I mean. I'm with my kids right now. Like, it, you're going to be a mixed table. And, and it's. <laughs> and you try to be nice because you don't want to, you know, come off of a, come you off a certain you way. Wanna, and you, you don't, don't want to crap on their hustle. Right. You know, like, hey, I get it. I totally. But, you know, please understand that I'm not, I'm not on the I'm radio. I'm right with my kids and they got value. I, you know, it's, you think, please just chill out. And I'm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, luckily, I'm and at then, the Dollar Tree buying an electrical cord. What? By the way, they don't sell electrical cords at the Dollar Tree. I found that I, out. We needed an extension cord. They don't sell it. But uh, go ahead. No, the Dollar Tree got to go to the dollar store, Family Dollar. I think I think they do. Britannia, I don't know if she's even paying attention anymore, but she, she like, swears she by Dollar Tree. I don't even know where the hell she went. She just scooted. Dollar Tree is good for arts and crafts. I'm in the bedroom. She's, I think she's building her drone out of popsicle sticks. <laughs> she told me she's going to build a drone out of popsicle sticks, but that's fine. Well, we're going to do this. We're going to take a time out. When we come back, we've got our studio guests locked and loaded and ready to go, and they're going to get it in where they fit in and uh, uh, all that stuff and wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. And, <laughs> and, uh, I, I, I it's fricka, fricka. See, you got it. That's it. Not wiggy, wiggy. Come on now. Okay. Uh, I, I, always like, I need to help you out. You know, I always think it's funny is that I always go, and I'm white. <laughs> but what's funny about that is that speaking of – Guys coming through the door. Yeah, guys like I can't yeah, pull. Yeah, hey. Like I can't pull the, oh, I'm white. Uh, because you guys know uh, I'm down. You got baby. So, <laughs> you guys brown as I us, can't, Jim. <laughs> I can't, I can't pull that shit. Because uh, you know better. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, not falling oh. for that. So, so let's uh, we're yeah. gonna take a break. When we come back, we got more coming up here. Yeah.